What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. As you guys can see by the title, we are going to be installing CarPlay uh, into my F80 today. As I mentioned in last week's video, I got the software from Easy Beamer. I'll make sure to leave a link down below. I paid like 50 bucks for it. I couldn't believe it. I uh, could have had CarPlay this whole time. Uh, but since my NVT iDrive system is a 2017 or newer, all I have to do is download the software and upload it uh, via PC. So that's what we're gonna do now, so stay tuned. Aston, you ready to install today? Man's always chilling. So yeah, I already got the car in accessory mode, seatbelt on. Um, all I have to do is plug in my OBD to uh, ethernet cable to my Windows PC. And then I'll show you guys what we have to do after that. So CarPlay has been something that I've always wanted in my car, but I didn't want to spend like 200, 300 bucks to get the modules. But it turns out if you have a 2017 uh, F8X or newer, you can actually get this software from Easy Beamer. Uh, there's a bunch of other coding companies and uh, coders out there that do it as well. But the price right here, as you guys can see, 54 bucks. I mean, can't beat it. And then the instructions are down below. Uh, you can do it yourself. So shout out to Rob, the owner, for walking me through. I saw a post on Beamer Post, or was it Facebook, one of the F80 pages, um, someone asking about this CarPlay. And someone literally said it took them less than like five minutes and it cost them 50 bucks. So I immediately looked into it and found out that we can do it this way. It should be pretty straightforward. We're gonna plug in my Windows PC to the OBD port and it's gonna connect. And then the instructions say to download this software which is right here, it's called Feature Installer. And we're gonna open that up. And then once you buy the software, he emails you the code uh, in your email that you will put into this software. And it'll basically write CarPlay into my iDrive system. So hopefully all goes well. Uh, let's get the computer plugged into the car. As most of you guys know, the OBD port is right here under the driver's side. I've done a lot of uh, Beamer code coding and tuning with boot mode with my F30, so <laughs> I've done this plenty of times. So yeah, I'm gonna run the cable outside through my window and have the PC chilling right here. So yeah, let me get this plugged in and I'll show you guys what to do next. According to his website, this should take less than like two minutes, so we'll see if that's true. But I'm super excited to get CarPlay. I mean, I've had rental cars and and newer cars, Toyotas, Chevys, that have CarPlay, and I'm over here like, damn, I drive a uh, $50,000 uh, sports car and I don't even have CarPlay yet. So I'm super happy to get CarPlay. All right, so I know there's a huge glare, but we're gonna open the feature installer. I just got done uh, deleting my phone from the iDrive system via Bluetooth, and also deleting my car um, on my Bluetooth on my phone as part of the instructions. And now we're just gonna wait for this to open up. And then I have the code that I got sent in my email ready to go. And we're just gonna type that in and see where this takes us. So yeah, you don't need any experience to do this yourself. I know coding can be kind of confusing and kind of sketchy sometimes, but this one should be pretty straightforward. So as you guys can see here, you just gotta type in your code. I'm gonna type that in real quick and be right back. All right, so that didn't work. I couldn't connect to my car, so I think I actually have to turn the car on, so I'm gonna do that real quick. Yeah, it's pretty late at night, but fuck it. <laughs> Sorry, neighbors. Yo, that shit's loud as fuck. Sorry. <laughs> So yeah, now I'm gonna plug this back in and see if it connects. That shit was so fucking loud. <laughs> Camera doesn't do it justice. But yeah, we're opening up the software again. Sorry if it's a little loud in here now. And then we're gonna type in the code again and see if the car connects. All right, checking in with you guys from like 30 minutes later. I actually couldn't use my Windows PC, so I had to download Windows 10 on my MacBook Air which definitely took a while, but I was able to connect finally to my car. I'm inside now, um, the car is on, and I connected the OBD to my MacBook, and I connected via hotspot, and so I typed in the code uh, that I was given from Easy Beamer on my email, and I went and clicked 
find vehicle and it found my VIN obviously because I'm connected and the next step is to click identify and let that do its thing as you guys can see it's reading the car now and then the next step in the instructions says press start once it's ready to start which it says right there so I'm gonna go ahead and press start Yeah, it was a pain in the ass because I actually thought I could do it on my uh, my PC laptop that I had, but something with the firewall and, and security didn't allow me to have two connections going on at the same time. So that would be like the car's connection as well as the laptop itself. But as you guys can see, <laughs> the iDrive is doing some crazy ass shit right now. It is resetting. I saw another guy doing CarPlay on YouTube as well and his screen was going crazy and then all the dash lights started to come on as well. So I'm just gonna let it do its thing. As you guys can see right here, it is loading. Definitely recommend you guys having a Windows laptop that doesn't have a super strict firewall. Otherwise, you're gonna have to download Windows on your MacBook, which I said before, takes a while, but this is definitely progress. But I'm super happy because that was a pain in the butt trying to get Windows on a MacBook. So yeah, I'm gonna let this load for a little bit don't want to bore you guys and then I'll get back to you with some more instructions and hopefully this will be done pretty soon it was pretty funny I started my car it's super late right now it's like midnight and I started my car and the cold start was so fucking loud but hey we got to do what we got to do I want car play you already know but yeah it is still loading all right not even two minutes later my iDrive is back and reset and then if you guys can see here I'll zoom in it says MBT2, FSC pack, coding, full screen, CarPlay, left hand drive, video in motion, all done. So I'm just gonna go ahead and press exit now and see what happens. So they'll close everything down. I think I am done. Uh, let me go ahead and read the next step before I do anything or press anything on the iDrive and I'll be right back. All right, so the next part of the instruction says to restart the iDrive system. So what I did was uh, you hold down the volume button right here for like 20 seconds and then the iDrive system will restart and so this is the moment of truth I'm gonna go to media go down to manage devices manage mobile devices and CarPlay should be an option no fucking way there it is let's go best $54 and what like two minutes of coding that I ever spent money on uh, I'm gonna connect my phone now via CarPlay uh, I'm probably gonna do this off camera I don't know if my phone being on a hotspot is gonna interfere with this so I'm gonna disconnect that uh, connect my phone to CarPlay and then I'll catch up with you guys yo I got CarPlay no way let's fucking go it's freaking almost 1 a.m. on a weekday and I finally got it to work. Let's freaking go. Too bad it's not touch screen, but that's all good. So I'll go to the home screen now. Look at that, 50 bucks. This is what 50 bucks can get you if you guys have a 2017 or newer M3. Wow, I am so hyped right now. Got phone, got music. We can go into the maps. Oh, it's gonna be so nice for road trips, especially now that I can have ways open on the big screen. Ha! You can tell me where the cops are, yo. What else we got? We got the BMW app, we got iHeartRadio, we got music, that's hype. I know you can put YouTube on here, so I know you can watch some videos, I think. We got Zoom. Anybody wanna go on a work call? <laughs> or for school? That's funny. But yeah, I'm gonna do some more research and see how I can put some more apps on here. But man, I am super hype right now. Like I said, it's super late, it took forever to install uh, Windows on my MacBook right here but we got it done connected to my phone on the CarPlay in the settings but check it out I am pumped <laughs> I am so pumped let's get it so yeah just to get back to the normal home screen you can just press the menu button or any of the back buttons and then CarPlay is right here once you're connected and boom definitely gonna be leaving it on that and I love how it is wireless super easy to code again shout out to Rob at easy beamer I'm gonna leave a link for his website and the download for this again if you have a 2017 or newer iDrive system 
I can't believe it took me this long to figure out that all I needed was the software update and it was so easy. Uh, anybody can do it yourself. I'm in my garage right now connected to my house Wi-Fi. I mean anybody could do this. <laughs> I'm so shocked. I could have done this a year and a half ago when I got my car. It would have made the driving experience more enjoyable, that's for sure. But I'm super glad I got CarPlay now. Again, interior mods on fire lately. We got the carbon fiber from F8X Freaks, and now we got CarPlay. Again, I'm gonna leave the link for Easy Beamer and this software down below. It has super detailed instructions, and if you message him or email him on Facebook, he responds pretty quickly. Again, super happy with the turnout. All right, so that's gonna wrap it up for tonight. I will finish this vlog up tomorrow. It's like 1 a.m. Just shut the garage. Uh, but yeah, that's a wrap for tonight. I'll catch up with you guys in the morning. All right, that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. I wanna thank you guys for watching. Make sure you drop a like, comment down below, subscribe for future content, and we'll see you on next week's video. Take care, peace out. Hey!